Casimir um, asked the question, um, how is it compared to Blazor with regards to um, like type safety um, components and developer productivity and the learning curve? Love that question because I'm also a huge, huge proponent of Blazor. As a matter of fact, um, this was almost became Blazor um, <laughs> and, and web app. So I've code and I've used both. I got applications deployed on both. And there's a lot of similarities and there's uh, also some differences. So let's start with the, um, the similarities. So once again, if we think about where the web is going and where we're going with front end web applications in general, we're moving more into this componentized world, meaning that we write once, we can reuse, we can compile and potentially share those components. So let's imagine that Cashmere, you create a really good um, menu widget, something that allows you to just kind of like add any menu item that you need. It doesn't make sense for me to necessarily rewrite that, right? If I could just download your component and I can pull it into my web app, um, why not do that? So TypeScript or sorry, Angular and Blazor both encourage that. And Blazor also operates on the concepts of, of components. Now, where it gets interesting is that JavaScript is, in no offense to my JavaScript folks, is a notoriously hard language to work with. And, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that it was built to be general purpose and work across the web. JavaScript has grown and turned into, honestly, I think the, the most used language uh, when you consider Node um, as a uh, backend and as a tool. And what that means is that there's some things that the language does that um, were not necessarily well thought out. Whereas um, languages such as C-sharp, which Blazor is built primarily on, are built to be, once again, type safe, um, have a lot of the same capabilities that we talked about with TypeScript, but the difference is that they allow you as a potential, say, .NET or C-sharp developer to leverage those same skills that you have maybe built building the back end, but apply them to the front end. And the way you should think about it is that, you know, when you're building a web application, right, there's some things that are just constants, meaning that you're always going to have some kind of HTML. Um, there's usually going to be some kind of styling. And then where we get into this really interesting space when it comes to programmatic programmability, meaning that actually getting the website to do cool things. So when you click on the button, it's scrolling up and down, is that that language, the way that the web is going with WebAssembly and stuff, that is up to the user. Meaning that, um, you know, right now we're talking about Blazor. Blazor's uh, programming language is primarily C Sharp, but with WebAssembly and the way that the web is developing, that same code could be written in Dart that same code could be written in JavaScript, that same code could be written in Python that will do the manipulations and will actually add the interactivity to your, your web application. So it really becomes a matter of preference, right? Where Angular is more pure web, meaning that there's no compilation um, that happens. When you're talking about Blazor, what you're gonna actually end up having is a little bit of code that's downloaded because you're gonna actually have a compiler in the browser that's gonna compile your code and it's gonna run your code. So what does that mean is you may have a hit up front in terms of how fast your website loads, but then your website runs at the speed of C-sharp, which is really, really fast. It's just a difference between the way an interpreted language, like say JavaScript is, is occupied versus a, a binary or compiled language like C-sharp. Essentially it runs at machine speed. So um, it becomes a preference of what are you most comfortable with? You can do a lot of the same things with both languages and both platforms. Um, I like working with both. I context switch between both and I'm gonna have to come back and now do a blazer on, <laughs> on Azure uh, tutorial in the near future. <laughs>